In the world of modern medicine, few breakthroughs have had as significant and widespread an impact as Viagra and Cialis. These two little pills have changed lives and reshaped our approach to intimacy and aging. In this video, we are going to compare these two medications side by side and we'll see which one is suitable for you. The Rise of Viagra From Heart Medicine to Bedroom Remedy It's hard to imagine today, but Viagra also known as Sildenafil, wasn't originally developed for erectile dysfunction ED. In fact, when Pfizer scientists first began testing Sildenafil in the early 1990s, they were looking for a drug to treat high blood pressure and chest pain angina. Sildenafil's original role as a vasodilator, relaxing blood vessels and improving blood flow, was a promising approach to these cardiovascular issues. However, during clinical trials, patients reported an unexpected side effect, a noticeable increase in erections. So, in 1998, Viagra made its grand entrance into the market as the first oral treatment specifically approved for ED. Its effectiveness, paired with its blue, diamond-shaped tablet, made Viagra an instant cultural phenomenon. Viagra's popularity exploded. It became more than just a pill, it was a symbol of vitality, a beacon of hope for men struggling with the natural decline of sexual function due to age, health issues, or other factors. Cialis, the 36-hour revolution. Finally, Viagra's dominance in the world of ED treatment would eventually meet its challenger, Cialis, also known as Tadalafil. Released in 2003, Cialis was developed by the pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly, and it offered a distinct advantage over its predecessor. While Viagra is effective for about 4 to 6 hours, Cialis can last up to 36 hours. This extended window of opportunity was a game-changer, offering men greater spontaneity and reducing the pressure of timed intimacy. It was marketed as the weekend pill, with its effects lasting much longer, allowing couples to be more flexible in their romantic endeavors. Unlike Viagra, which is typically taken on demand and comes in a strength of 25, 50 and 100 mg, Cialis also comes in a lower daily dose of 2.5, 5, 10 and 20 mg, allowing men with frequent ED to take it every day, maintaining a steady level of the drug in their system. Now one of the most important things that you should know is that Cialis is not affected by a meal or food intake. That means you can take Cialis with or without food. On the contrary a high-fat meal can delay the action of Viagra. So take your medications accordingly. The science behind the magic, how do they work? Both Viagra and Cialis target the same underlying mechanism in the body, erectile dysfunction, which is often caused by restricted blood flow to the penis. Both sildenafil and tadalafil inhibit the enzyme PDE5, which, when overactive, can restrict blood flow by constricting blood vessels. By blocking this enzyme, these medications allow the smooth muscles of the penis to relax, increasing blood flow and making it easier to achieve and sustain an erection. However, Viagra, sildenafil, tends to be faster acting but has a shorter duration of action, while Cialis, tadalafil, takes longer to kick in but can last much longer. This makes Cialis a preferred choice for men who want more flexibility or are looking for a long-lasting solution. It's important to note that neither medication causes spontaneous erections. Sexual arousal is still necessary, these pills just help ensure that the body's natural response is amplified when the moment arrives. Side Effects As with any medication, there are side effects to consider. Both Viagra and Cialis can cause mild headaches, flushing, indigestion, and nasal congestion. In rare cases, they may lead to more serious side effects like vision changes or priapism, a painful, prolonged erection, which requires immediate medical attention. It's also important to note that these medications should not be taken with certain other medications, especially nitrates, often prescribed for chest pain, or alpha blockers, used for high blood pressure. These combinations can lead to dangerously low blood pressure. However, it's not always a good idea to take medicines full of side effects and future complications. There are many other ways you can improve your erection and live a healthy life. If you find this information helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.